Valley to then, folks. Hello then, welcome back to some more SC Gundam Generations Cross Race. So, we got a couple of things before we will continue on with Siege. So, we have the basic Astroth, which we haven't used just quite enough yet, so we're not going to upgrade it just yet. We have our Death Scythe, who do we want to go normal Death Scythe and then go normal Heavy Arms, or should we just go Heavy Arms? Hmm. I kind of want to just go heavy arms. I am just going to go heavy arms. Actually, I think I'm going to wait on that. Cause it might be a bad idea. I will decide later. But the real reason we're here, we're going to develop the Epion into the Aquarius. We're also going to upgrade the Camaris into the Trooper. You work in space, right? Yeah, you can work in space. Cool. Even though you have horse legs and are weird. And then eventually we'll upgrade this into the Vidar. And then we're going to set the Astron aside after we remove all its upgrades. And we're going to get something new. Like... Not a Wadoom. We've done that before. Um... Do you want to go for Sago? Cover Sago. Keep to, you know, track. Um, where are you unused? You are unused. Okay, so we need an armor. Uh, we need an armor and I think an energy tank. Energy tank and then armor. Okay, so you have the Aquarius. You have that. You're in that. Should you upgrade the Archie? The Jagged Archie? Yeah, let's go with the Jagged Archie for funsies. You work everywhere as well, except for the surface of water, so that's fine. <clears throat> we still need to show you off. I still want to get a little bit more use out of the wing before we go over to the Wing Zero normal version. And I guess we'll go up to Endless Waltz and then go do something from there. Yeah, those people down there don't matter, so let us begin. Oh, hey, what did we get? Oh! Okay, so we got the last version of the Camaris. So we got the Enhancer Unit 3. I kind of wish I would have done that in between episodes. So I could buy everyone an Enhancer Unit 3. Increases all stats by 80, which is pretty good. Now we have Hero, distracted by defeat. Let's see, physical knowledge, analyst, marksman, endurance. Nah, nothing we really need. Physical knowledge one is good enough. I might grind a little bit to get a bunch of physical knowledge used, but wait, no, that's physical knowledge. That just increases your melee by one range. スペシャルズを創設した男であるスペシャルズとはかつて圧倒的な軍事力を欲した連合内において己の理想を実現させるための足がかりに過ぎなかった。トレーズが連合への反乱を実行に移そうとしたとき、偶然にも時代の幕開けを知らせる火の粉が宇宙より降りかかる。流星に紛れて地球に降下した五機のガンダム
our char clone, everyone. かつて北欧に存在した小国、サンクキングダム。連合の支配を危うくする危険思想であると恐れ、サンクキングダムに侵攻を開始。時の剣王は没し、王子と王子は行方不明となっていた。チャーラ、チャーラ、ナーティーゼ、ダイカン、ガード、I かつて惨劇を受けた祖国を取り戻すため偉大なる王の魂を救うために暴国の王子が待ち焦がれたその瞬間が今訪れるあ、I would honestly probably have that as background. That was pretty badass. I need to find where the the files are saved so I can steal those. But hey, we're back at the Magnet camp. Don't worry, his dad has literally four clones of him. At least four that we know about. He's only an 18-year-old boy. He can't be allowed to go out alone. You never know he might show up. Might start a violent uprising in a small Middle Eastern nation. Wait, fuck. Never mind. He could start using cigarettes or drinking. Oh, God. We can't have him like that. And there you go, and the Quattro being a new type. He's speaking to the heart of space. I mean, technically, Quattro is a clone, so he could be a new type. You know, Mu and Rao were, clone were clones as well. That's how they became new types. Hey, we're burning down Luxembourg this time. Goddamn Luxembourg being, like, one square mile. Being able to drive through it in ten minutes. Um... If we burn down Luxembourg, it will destroy the beautiful city. I'm pretty sure. I'm just curious where in Luxembourg they had space to build a military base. Oh wow, an actual plane!
I was shot. Now I'm not going to tell you about it, though. Oh, right, yeah, he pulls something like three times G-Force, I think. Which, uh, Zex just kind of like, yep, yeah, that, that's a thing. Oh, nice. Are you going to kill me now? Oh. Actually, I do. I was here this time. I've taken up the flag of revolution. We're gonna throw out the the bourgeoisie and bring justice to my people. I can't remember the best steel quotes, my bad. I think it's technically a liberation, isn't it? That's what it's going to be. Gotcha. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Just nine and uh, the tall geese. Oh, and nine Aries. I mean, you have the Dober gun, you're good. the beam turrets within four turns before I do anything. Okay, so just destroy all the beam turrets within four turns. And no animations. Alright. Alright, so we do about 5,000 to it. I'm, I'm pretty sure Noin's going to do maybe about 3,500. So let's see, that's about 85. We're probably going to have to pull uh, Zex into the center. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so if we pull him to right here, we'll be able to target all six of these, or all four of them at the same turn. And then they'll probably go to shoot at him, and then we'll counterattack them. Might actually take all four turns. Should be interesting. Oh yeah, right, you have explosives, so yeah, about four thousand. That's good. Yeah. Uh, I should have checked beforehand. Okay, you guys are in a raid group together. Annoying. Learn to dodge. I know you're in an Aries and they're garbage, but still, damn. Got some. What kind of range you guys have? Two to six? Oh, you have two to five, not two to seven. Crap. Okay, so... I'm hoping that those two turrets go after Zex this turn. We'll counterattack them, doing at least a little bit of damage. We'll have Noin pull up, hit this guy, counter or support with Zex, destroy that one next turn, or with the chance step from that. We'll move down here and do the same thing against this guy, and then we'll pull them both down as close to this guy as we can to destroy him. Okay, so this is the last counter I'm gonna do with Zex. Yeah. 
He's running out of energy. All right, so. Ooh, that's something we can do though. Did you get more energy? Yeah, you almost recharged completely. Never mind. We don't need to worry about energy, apparently. So, I want to be in a position where I can hit both of you. Dobra gun this guy. Alright, so Noin, you're going to move up to here. You're gonna missile pod this guy, and also if you miss a stationary turret, I'm gonna be pissed. That's fine. Move you up to here. Kill this guy. That's the turrets taken care of. Okay, so we have to kill everyone. Yep, destroy all enemies. Okay. Chain rifle this guy. No, and you're gonna move right here. You're gonna missile this guy. Zex is gonna Dober gun him with a shot instead of a laser kick. And you're gonna miss, thus screwing up my plan, you asshole. We're gonna have Zex fly in, gonna beam saber this guy. この See, what I was gonna do is I was gonna have Noin go in for a couple of kills and then have Zex take up the remaining ones with support of Noin. But that didn't happen. Because he just can barely not do enough damage to kill them. Oh, and you can't even support attack. Perfect. Well, that means you can kill him next round, so it's fine. Yep. So, you can move here, slash this guy. You can move up to here. Chain gun this guy with support for the tall geese.
Now we're just gonna go into the streets and start telling everyone they're free, that they can throw away all their Federation crap, and that they're their own people again. Also, that man has an awesome beard. I know I said it before. お許しください。父上。そして。そのためにSo I know you're all pacifists, but you've been drafted. Welcome to the army, son. Oh yeah, Lady Un's name is really Lady. It's not a title, that's her name. Your work hasn't gone unnoticed. You see, I think you would look really good in this if we painted it blue. Or purple, yes, let's go with purple. And we'll give it a blonde, a blonde mohawk instead of a red one. And we'll call it something cool, like Tall Geese 2, Electric Boogaloo. Yeah, that's it. I like that song. Or better yet, we'll build the Tall Geese 3, and it will have a whip. I like whips. Or no, we'll paint it red and make it look like a dragon. We'll give it an even better name. He was Lightning Count last episode, by the way. But now he's the Lightning Baron. Okay, he was doing that on purpose. Never mind, I was like, uh... you mistranslate that? How did you- Well, you see, I walked in there and I knew you called it Father. It was kind of obvious you were on loudspeaker. We had like 38 people tell you that too. Why you didn't listen, we don't know. We stole this chip from Avalanche, and now we're gonna stick you on it. Really? You're stealing money? God damn it, hero. It's a good thing we got those anti- uh, those anti-mobile doll viruses. Don't worry, they're gonna build literally thousands of them. They're all automated. 
It's Relina, of course. Oh, no, it's Duo. Okay. I just noticed they use the same shade of brown for both Duo and Hero's hair. Well, Oz developed it in secret, of course. You guys just said it's in the Arabian Peninsula. That's like 3,000 miles away from Siberia. At, at a distance that all that high, they could literally go into space and come down and not touch your territory at all. Depending on how, you know, efficient it is to get up into space, that might actually be worth it. Oh, it's a derailed train. Got it. Your guys' intel gathering is horrible. Like, it's actually the worst. You use public TV for your intel gathering, don't you? Sixteen. Twenty. Twenty-four. Thirty-two. Thirty-six. Forty. Forty-one. Alright, seriously guys, your planes are within like 100 meters of each other. They're planes. The, the sky is very wide. You could have them be within a thousand meters of each other and it'd be the same thing. <laughs> 